Hi everyone, uh, in this video uh, we will discuss about the OSI layer model. OSI stands for Open Systems Interconnection Model, mainly used to understand and standardize the functions of a network or communication systems that can be classified into seven layers. So each layer performs a specific role and communicates with the layers directly above and below it. So here is a breakdown of the seven layers. So physical layer, data link layer, network layer, transport layer, session layer, presentation layer, application layer. So here the main role of the physical layer is to manage just the physical connection between devices. Then the main function of the data link layer is to ensure reliable data transfer across the physical link. Then the third one is network layer. Here it handles routing forwarding and addressing the data packet. So these three layers can be called as hardware layers. Then the fourth one is transport layer. This ensures reliable delivery of data between devices. Fifth one is session layer. So it manages the session between the applications. Then the sixth one is presentation layer. So it translates the data between the application layer and the network. Uh, the translation such as the data encryption, dec decryption, compression and formatting the data. Then the final layer is application layer. So this application layer provides network services to the user and the interface with the application software. So these three layers can be called as software layers. So this is the main classification of OSI model. We are going to discuss about the key functions and their role. The first one is physical layer. So the physical layer, the main purpose is to deal the physical transmission of raw bits over a communication medium. So the communication medium may be uh, Ethernet cables, fiber optics or coaxial cables. So uh, they are using the standards such as USB, Bluetooth, IEEE 802.3. Key functions of a physical layer is first it defines hardware specifications such as cables, switches and other network devices. It establishes and it terminates physical connections. Then it helps to manage bit synchronization and transmission rate. Nothing but a throughput value. How much amount of data that we sent and how much we received in it. Okay. Second layer is data link layer. The main purpose is to provide error detection and correction for reliable data transfer over the physical medium. The data link layer consists of two sub layers. Number one is logical link control and next one is media access control that we call this MAC. Logical link control, it handles error checking and flow control. Then in media access control, it governs how devices share the physical medium. The main functions of data link layer is framing. So framing is nothing but encapsulates the packets from network layer into frames. Error detection and correction. So by using techniques such as cyclic redundancy check, it helps to detect the error and correct it. Then flow control. So flow control means it prevents fast senders from overwhelming slow receivers. The network layer. So the main purpose of network layer is to handle routing, forwarding and logical addressing for data delivery across different networks. So uh, here they, they are using internet protocol, internet control message protocol, routing information protocol to perform its functions. The key function of a network layer is number one is logical addressing. So by using logical addressing, it assigns IP addresses to identify devices quickly and uniquely then routing routing means it determines the best path for data packets to reach the destination so the fourth one is the transport layer as we say it is the heart of osi model so it is ensuring a reliable or efficient data transmission between the devices it is using a tcp which is transmission control protocol it is a wired so the main two protocols that we are using is transmission control protocol shortly known as TCP 
So it is a reliable and a connection oriented protocol. So for file transfer and emails that we can prefer this one. Then user datagram protocol shortly we call it as UDP. It is an unreliable one and is a connection less method. The main function of a transport layer is segmentation and reassembly. So we are dividing a large data streams into smaller one for easy management. Then connection establishment. It establishes a connection, maintain it and terminate the connection between the devices. Then flow control. So in flow control, it ensures that the sender does not overwhelm the receiver with too much of data. Then error handling and retransmission. So it detects and resends lost or corrupted packets. The fifth one is a session layer. So it manages the session between various applications. Uh, the main examples that we are using is uh, remote procedure call, uh, SQL session control uh, and uh, NetBIOS. So these are the concepts that we are using in a session layer. The main function of a session layer is session establishment. So we initiates, maintains and terminates communication responses. Then synchronization. So what do you mean by synchronization? Here we are inserts checkpoints in data streams for recovery in case of failure. Then dialogue control. Dialogue control means it determines whether the communication is half duplex or full duplex. The sixth one is presentation layer. So it ensuring that the data is in readable format for the application layer. So it helps in data translation whether it is needed or encryption decryption purposes and for uh, data compression techniques and for formatting the data we can using this presentation layer. So uh, the examples are uh, secure socket layer, uh, JPEG format and uh, MPEG video format and ASCII formats are some examples of this presentation layer. Key function of this presentation layer is uh, number one is a data translation. So it converts data formats between application and network layers. Encryption and decryption. So it secures data for transmission and restores it for use. Then data compression. So it reduces the size of data for faster transmission. Then formatting. Formatting means it handles differences in character encoding like ASCII to EBCDIC. The seventh layer which is the final layer that we call it as application layer. So it provides network services directly to users of the application. Examples are HTTP uh, which we call it as hypertext transfer protocol. It will be useful for web browsing. Then FTP file transfer protocol for file transfers. Then SMTP simple mail transfer protocol for sending emails. Then DNS domain name system for resolving the domain names. The key function of application layer is it uh, interfaces directly with the end user application like browsers or email clients then it provides protocol for specific functions example is file transfer uh, web browsing etc then it handles network resource allocation for application so how data is flow in a osi label so data is flow from application layer which is the top one to the physical layer which is the bottom one on the sender side and vice versa on the receiver side so each layer adds or remove the headers as data moves through the stock. That the process that we call it as encapsulation and decapsulation. So here in this example you can see that uh, where uh, our friend Alex writes an email to his friend Jamie. So this is the sending computer. This is Alex and he is writing a email to his friend Jamie. So when a user is sending a mail from one person to another person. So this is how it come across the application layer which is a user interface that we call it as HTTP then presentation layer it is for data translation that we are using a SSL or TLS then session layer it is helpful for session management example is a RPC remote procedure calls then transport layer for reliable data delivery we are using a TCP transmission control protocol network layer it helps to identify which path is the nearest one and which one is the correct route so for that we are using IP addressing then data link layer for framing purpose and error detection and control that we are using a MAC addressing then finally the physical layer so it is for bit transmission that we are using a Ethernet this is how it come across so here process is vice versa I hope you understand the concepts of uh, OSI models in networks thank you for watching the video
meet you in the next video till then it's goodbye from vijay